Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to be building SSTOs. So whatever we come out with, we come out with, right? Now I like S the way I like SSTOs, they have to be useful. They can't be stupid. And by stupid I mean just doing one thing and that's literally transporting a Kerbal to a destination and then back. It has to be more useful than that. It really does. It has to carry cargo. It has to do something. It has to, it has to fill a purpose. Ah. Um, so let's 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 try to fill a purpose. Okay. So since this thing is going to jewel, I don't want to put a Kerbal in it because that would just be cruel and unusual to have a Kerbal stuck in there for the three year journey there and the three year journey back, if it makes it back. Something tells me that we're going to probably blow up trying to stop this thing because of the fact that I haven't played, <laughs> haven't, well, I haven't gone to jewel in an SSTO in forever. So I know a lot of things have changed with aerodynamics and heat and deadly reentry, which used to be a mod, but now it's stock. And of course, G-forces on the parts. Mm. I don't think we're gonna make it first go around. This might have to go through a couple more designs, but we can go ahead and test it out. So yeah, it will be a drone per se. It'll be a drone and uh, it'll fly over to Jewel, drop off some uh, like a satellite and fly back. <laughs> Maybe. I tried to cover up the, the uh, window part of the cockpit with uh, the basic fins, but I'm going to tell you right now, they're probably going to pop just getting up into orbit because they're they're not they're not rated for uh, heat at all. They they, they are literal uh, they're literally made out of tissue paper <laughs> they're not gonna last I, I foresee I foresee them popping before I get into orbit but that's okay prototype is a prototype after all all right control from here that's better and SAS on in three two one Okay, so now we're just gonna burn over to Jewel. It's uh, it will be a 14 minute burn, which means that we're gonna have to take it in segments. So we're gonna burn for three minutes, go out, come in, burn for three minutes, go out, come in, burn for three minutes, boom, and then burn, and then boom, and then burn, and then be we're out of here, you know what I mean?
All right, so after three minutes, our perigee is now really close to our maneuver node. So this time we're gonna, about a minute out, minute or two out, we'll burn towards our perigee and then stop. Burn towards our perigee and then stop. And then until, you know, we get slung out into space. Schlung. Until we get schlunged out into space. Two minutes till perigee and go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to go prograde in order to conserve delta V because we're already pointed in that direction. If we're burning towards the left or the right of this prograde, then we're actually wasting fuel. As long as our prograde, or as long as our trajectory goes out towards this line, we'll be fine. Don't worry about this anymore. This, this is telling you lies. Don't believe it. Use the force, Luke. I love that. Let me show you how we used to do it back in my day, before all these fancy numbers and shit. Okay, so um, it's too far out for uh, robotic control, even though I have the dish on here, I need a bigger one in order to be in contact with Curran, so we're just going to go ahead and work around that for now. Okay, now we get to see if we actually survive. It's been a while since I've been to Jewel with an SSTO, so I know things have changed a little bit. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and immediately. Okay, immediately. Wow. Oh, nearly. Immediately. <laughs> okay, nope, nope. Oh, oh geez. Oh, no. oh, no. oh dear. Oh no. And I didn't save. Well, pumper knuckles. Hmm. Wow, it's bright. Whoa. Yeah. That's a thing. Maybe I should go in engine first. So that that seems to that seems to really be like the best thing going on right now. See, back in the day, when me and just a handful of other YouTubers at the time were doing SSTOs, interplanetary SSTOs, this, uh, the, the Deadly Reentry mod was the only mod that you could add to your game, and it would create Deadly Reentry. Well, they added that to the stock game later on, but during the time that, you know, old farts like me were playing the game and going around and with SSTOs we didn't have to worry about that so we would slam into Jewel and everything else with our SSTOs and not have to worry about that things have changed since then so yeah gonna have to figure that out I know what a lot of people are gonna say well watch Matt Lone's stuff sure I could do that but what's the fun in not finding out for yourself if you're constantly copying somebody, right? All right, well, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. Um, proof of concept, over 800 meters per second left over Delta V. I'm not sure if that's enough to actually go anywhere after going to Jewel, but it was fun regardless. I think I'll work on some more SSTO stuff later on. Um, 
anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, signing off and have a good night. Bye bye. You fiery bit you, look at that. No, I'm, I'm scared about the Eve mod though. Last time I downloaded that, it, it broke the simple construction mod, so... Should I? I don't know.